In today's video, I'm here with Danny of Mark 3D, and we're gonna be talking about programming the 3D printer in your machine shop. Danny, how easy is it? Very easy is the simple answer to that. Basically, IGA, our proprietary software, is part of what we call the Digital Forge. So Mark Forge have this concept of precision machines, industrial grade materials, and then very intuitive user-friendly software. So IGA was basically pick up where your CAD engineer leaves off, import our STL, taking apart, choose our orientation, things like infill structures, wall thicknesses. Then we inlay our carbon fiber, Kevlar, fiberglass, whatever it may be, and press print. And it really is this concept of print it, use it, forget about it. That's simple. Yep. So if I buy technology from Mark Forge, um, I presume it comes to training and things. So how, how long does it take me to learn this software? A couple of hours to get you going, shall we say. It's really been designed to in, I say this respectfully, de-skill somebody. What we don't want is an expensive engineer that could be doing something more productive, then using expensive software that's complex to use with all these post processors and those kind of things. We've just taken a very core software, toggle switches, you have the ability to select materials, those kind of things, press print and forget about it. Uh, many printers are run across the, a cloud, and as soon as we say cloud, security becomes an issue, doesn't it, to engineers? So how, how does that work with Mark Forge? Yeah, so I'd say about 95% of our customers, probably more than that in all honesty, adopt cloud-based software. It's ISO 27001 approved. We're as secure as you like, but if you did want to go uh, offline, and should we say a dark site, we do have an option for that as well. And, and Blacksmith, I'm seeing a lot more about this on social media. What is it? Yeah, so Blacksmith is a bolt onto Iger, which really opens up the technology. So the X7 behind me here has an inbuilt uh, scanning system. So not just like bed leveling and calibrations, which are automatic, but what we can do, going back to our mold tool, what we want to do is make sure that it is within tolerance. So we can go straight from printer to shop floor missing our Q&A department. We can get it to inspect all kinds of elements. It will actually recognize where it's out of tolerance and print more accurately next time. So it automatically augments your CAD if need be. So almost element of machine learning. Exactly, yeah. And even to things that we can't traditionally do in subtractive technologies. So if this had conformal cooling and you wanted to check the channels were within tolerance, buried five mil beneath the skin, whatever it may be, we can inspect as we print. They're the two big advantages, aren't they? Yes. So you can inspect as you go, whereas the CMM clearly you can't. It's a, it's a finished component. And you probably don't need it, but you don't. You don't need a CMM. No, it really adds that value. What's the point of me being able to produce something overnight that I could use? I know it's good, but it has to sit in an inspection department, which may be a bottleneck for two days. We can then go straight from printer to shop floor. Danny, the final one for me. What sort of reports can we generate and you know, how can we help engineers do their job essentially? Yeah, ultimately we want to make it as easy as possible for someone. So once we've finished setting up our part, we'll have print times. So we know how to production plan for the printers if you've got more than one. Print costs, so material costs. We've got the ability to look at inspection reports so we know whether the parts are good fit for purpose. Then we have a dashboard behind that. So we can start and look at users where we can see how much uh, a particular department has used uh, material-wise over the past three months and, e months and export all that data. There we are, sounds pretty straightforward to me. How could engineers at home find out more information? So yeah, just contact Mark3D, we can set you up with the trial of the software so you can see this stuff in action. There we are, thank you very much. And uh, thank you for watching at home.